This is the new MC21 EF to L mount adapter from Sigma. And what it's designed to do is open up existing EF mount lenses for the new Lumix S1 camera from Panasonic. Today we've got a couple of models here to help us out. And as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. So we are gonna be outside doing some shots here, but we've also got a low light setup indoors so we can see how it performs with more challenging lighting conditions when it comes to autofocus. All in all, I'm very encouraged by the build quality of the MC21. It's comparable to the MC11, which I have used extensively with Sony cameras, but they are missing one thing that this does have, an integrated tripod socket, which would allow you to use larger lenses without additional tripod support. So that's a really nice touch from Sigma. Let's move on to the first shooting scenario and see how it gets on. This is with the Panasonic uh, 51.4, so I would expect this to work quite well. Uh, could you just walk forward for me? That's a continuous AFC. As you can see, it's tracking the eye relatively well. That was quite quick as well. Could you just walk back? You can see it's following her body, tracking the body, then finding the face. And that works quite well. Let's try that out with the Sigma and see how it gets on. Interestingly, when switching to the 51.4 from Sigma, the camera asked me to switch to AFS and it was in continuous AFC mode at the time. So that confirms to us that AFC does not work when used with third-party lenses from Sigma. Even with AFC out of the loop, the camera is still able to keep track of our model's position, tracking her face and tracking her eye quite tenaciously. So that when I'm pressing AF on, it is locking onto the eye and it's focusing exactly where I want it. Albeit not quite as fast as the performance that I'm getting from a native Lumix S Pro lens but that's to be expected. It's impressive that the Lumix S1 is still able to accurately detect our model's body, face, and her eye while she's moving around the frame, even without AFC. This is a really useful feature to have because it means that when I'm taking my shots, I can focus on the composition of the frame and I don't have to readjust my AF point. So whenever I press AF on, the camera's locking onto the key parts of the image. And in this case, it means I'm consistently getting her eyes in focus. Switching over to the Canon 51.2L, it's a very similar story. The Lumix S1's powerful AI is still able to detect and follow where our model's face and eye is, no matter where she is in the frame. And that's critical in this type of a shooting scenario, which means I'm not having to focus on her face and recompose, it means I can focus on keeping the frame as I want it. This was the first point at which I noticed a difference, a clear difference between the performance of the Canon lens and the Sigma on the MC21 adapter. The Canon definitely seemed to have a little bit more of a lag and hunted slightly more than the Sigma did, but that's not surprising considering that the MC21 was designed specifically for use with Sigma EF mount lenses. As someone who's invested a lot of money in EF mount lenses over the years, it's quite reassuring to know that I can still use all of that glass with this body without too much of a compromise in performance. And I'm still getting all of that great image quality from lenses that I know and love. In this setup, I'm shooting with the model completely backlit by the sun, which is intentionally challenging for the AF system. But even then, the camera is still able to lock onto her face and give me consistent AF performance, which is impressive. In this kind of a setting, we've got a low lit room. I've got a bit of light coming from that door uh, just behind the subject. But I am finding, especially with this, uh, with the adapter, the 2470 is hunting a lot more than it was outside. And it's misfiring, so it's locking on the contrast area of the stairs uh, where the light's coming in. But what's really handy is I'm able to manually override the focus just to bring it a little bit closer to where I want it and give the camera a hand. But that's not dissimilar to how I typically work when using native lenses, as I am the type of photographer and videographer who enjoys manual focus. If you've already got this lens and you don't want to go out and spend a bit more money, uh, getting an equivalent when they're available. I think the adapter's given you very similar performance to what you'd get from a Canon camera. And I'd be really happy with that. Really, really happy with that. It's worth mentioning that although there are only three native lenses for this at launch, it is an L lens, like we said at the start. So it does have existing lenses from Sigma and Leica available. And Sigma have vowed to make L mount specific lenses just for this camera. Panasonic will be doing the same. And also Leica's L lenses will be working 
But having that EF mount opens this camera up to so many existing lenses. And we know now that single AF performance is gonna work very well, matching the kind of performance that you get when partnered with a Canon DSLR. We've spent the day with the MC21. We've actually been able to use it now. We've had a couple of shoots. So we absolutely know that the AFC does not work for autofocus when it comes to video, uh, continuous autofocus when it comes to stills. So if you rely on AFC, this is not gonna be the solution for you. You're gonna have to wait until there's a native lens that has AFC support. Otherwise, for autofocus that's single focus, um, the camera does perform very, very well. I would say it's comparable to using all of those third-party lenses on a Canon body uh, with an EF mount. I'd say with the Sigma lenses, we definitely had a slightly faster performance, but the Canon lenses were a little bit laggy and they hunted a little bit more than we did with the Sigma lenses. And obviously the native glass was super quick. Uh, interestingly though, even with the third-party lenses, the camera's ability to track faces and bodies and even eyes is consistent, it does work well. It's just interesting that the communication's not there between the lens and the body. So that you're not getting that, that's the reason why you're not getting AFC performance. So yeah, I'd say if you're the kind of person like me who does a lot of fashion, event type stuff, and I also, when I shoot video, normally manually focus more than I rely on continuous. Uh, I think the MC21 adapter does do a great job. For me as someone who has a lot of EF lenses, that would make this camera a lot more attractive to me. And as we know, there's gonna be a lot more L glass coming for it. So if you just wanted to get involved now with existing EF glass, this means you have this camera as a very viable option for a lot of people. And you know that coming down the road, there will be a lot of native lenses that will have that AFC support. So all in all, I've been really, really impressed. Um, I think Using this adapter with EF lenses is interesting for someone who's like me, who's used Sony with the EF, uh, the MC11 adapter for a long time. One of the things that bothered me about that was it didn't feel very balanced because the Sony bodies are so small. Uh, but the S1, as you can see, is a very chunky camera. And I think it, that works in its favor because when you're using a longer lens, like I have the 100 to 400 here, which I used actually last night to get a shot of the full moon. If you're interested in astrophotography, you'll be pleased to know that using the Canon EF 100 to 400 via the MC21 adapter on the Lumix S1 body was very similar to using it on a Canon DSLR with some added bonuses. I was able to pair the S1 to my phone using the Lumix Sync app and then using digital magnification to focus, making sure I had everything where I wanted it, and then remotely trigger the camera using the phone, which is great when you're working at such extended focal lengths. That's my review or my impressions of the MC21. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Um, in the meantime, subscribe and thanks for watching.